In this video, I'm going to take you through a couple of additional features that you might find useful in making new posts. So I'm going to start with a new post button. I will give it a title. I will paste in some text that I've already copied. I'll put in a picture just for fun. Now, the first thing I want to point out is the labels link over here on the side. Labels are like tags or categories for your blog post. So for a classroom blog, you might have labels like math, reading, writing, science, etc. Um, this post appears to be about snowmobiling and perhaps winter. So I'll add those tags. Now labels become useful because students and parents can use them to quickly filter through your blog. So if you tag any post that has to do with math with the math tag, um, parents and students will be able to find everything tagged math very quickly. So you can do that and then click done. Another useful link over here on the side is the schedule button. And I used to use this when I had supply teachers in my classroom. I would set a date and time when the blog post should appear. And so when it was a math period, uh, the math lesson would appear live on my blog. So I can use this to um, move ahead uh, and, and decide when my blog post will appear. You'll notice here that the time zone uh, is set to Pacific Standard Time. Um, so in another post, looking at the settings, I'll show you how to adjust that. So I can change this to uh, Wednesday at uh, 8 o'clock in the evening and then say done. If I don't like that, I want to change it, I just click on the schedule button again and just say automatic and then it will post as soon as I click the publish button. Um, location, you can put in a, a location for your blog post. Um, I tend not to do that because they're always associated with my class at my school. Um, if you would like to change the commenting options here, you can do that. This can be done individually for each post, but in another video I'm going to show you how to set the overall options for your blog. So I'll just say done. So now that I've shown you those posts, I'm going to hit, click publish. And I'm just going to add a couple, I'm going to edit these ones just to add a couple of labels so that later on in another video we can see how that works. So I'll add winter and math to this one. I'll update that and I will add math to this one here on hyperlinks and update that and let's say that I will change this one and add winter. Now you can see that it's already selecting my previous label so I can just click winter and then done. So I'll update that one and we're good and I think that's it for this video.